there we are. Okay. So, if you see this on the left-hand side, what are you going to do? Foil. What's secant times secant? Secant squared of x. Outers and inners are going to cancel because they are what of each other? What's the math word of them? Starts with a C. Conjugates. They're conjugate pairs, right? So, secant squared minus tangent squared of x equals secant of x cosine of x. Now, I told you you can never change the right side, right? But, we're not going to change the right side, but we're going to figure out what it's equal to. Okay? That's not changing it. We're just going to figure out what it's equal to. What's secant the same as? That's 1 over cosine, right? Times cosine. If these cancel, we get 1 on the right side. So if we can get to 1 on the left-hand side, then we can change that 1 into secant cosine, right? So how do we get to 1? What's secant squared minus tangent squared? That's 1, right? Because tangent squared plus 1 equals secant squared. So if we move that tangent to the other side, or if we move to the tangent to the other side, the side is secant squared, we subtract tangent squared from each side. And so secant squared minus tangent squared equals 1. So 1 equals secant, co secant x cosine of x. So secant of x cosine of x equals secant of x cosine of x. Okay? So that's how we would do that one. Ooh, mind equals blown. Okay? So basically what we're doing is figuring out what this side would equal if we could simplify it. Simplify this side to that and then rebuild it to make them equal. Okay? All right. This next one. Ooh, mama. Uh, ooh, what are we going to do? What would you do first? Foil that 1 plus cosine, right? So I would write it twice and foil. So 1 plus cosine of x times 1 plus cosine of x plus sine squared of x minus 2 cosine of x equals 2. Okay, if we FOIL this, 1 times 1 is 1. Outers, cosine of x. Inners, cosine of x. What's cosine of x plus cosine of x? 2 cosine of x. Last times last, cosine squared of x. Plus sine squared of x minus 2 cosine of x equals 2. All right. Now, Andrew already saw this. He, he's just like, he just did this whole problem in his head and has it done already. Okay? Some of you are going, what? Well, if you put parentheses around these two, oh, it makes all the difference in the world. Because what's cosine squared plus sine squared? One. One plus one is two. Two cosine of x minus two cosine of x do what? Cancel. So basically we have one plus one, because these cancel each other, equals two. So two equals two, and we're done. Okay? You just have to see that this is equal to one, and see that these two are the same thing, so they cancel each other. Okay? So, there we go. Oh, secant minus cosine equals sine of x tan times tangent of x. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm going to do on this one? I'm just going to look at that right side really quick. Because I want to see where I'm going. So let's see where we're going here. What's tangent the same as? 
sine over cosine. So we have sine of x times sine of x over cosine of x. So if I can get to like sine squared of x over cosine of x, I'm golden, right? So let's see if we can get there on the left-hand side. I don't see any signs, but what does secant become? 1 over cosine. So we change it to 1 over cosine of x minus cosine of x equals sine of x tangent of x. All right. Now, I have a fraction. I'm adding and subtracting fractions. To add and subtract fractions, we need a common denominator. What's a common denominator going to be? Cosine of x. Because this really has a 1 in its denominator. So if I multiply the top and bottom of this by cosine of x, I get a common denominator. So I get 1 minus cosine squared of x over cosine of x equals sine of x tangent of x. Ooh, what's 1 minus cosine squared? Sine squared. Oh, now we're cooking with Crisco. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this two steps instead of just go straight. Hey, we got it there. No, I'm going to split this up to be sine of x times sine of x over cosine of x. So then we have sine of x tangent of x equals sine of x tangent of x. Lucky there. Okay. Have we ramped up the difficulty slightly with these? Slightly, but still it's not impossible for you to do. Okay, you're just, you got to kind of figure out where you're going. Kind of like in life. You got to kind of figure out where you're going and then find the right path to get there. Okay? Trig is like life. Oh, my goodness. Yep. That's why you're taking this class. So you can map your correct route in life. All right. This one. Oh, Nelly. Cotangent of x cos over cosecant of x minus cosecant of x over cotangent of x must equal negative sine of x tangent of x. Hey, we had that last time, something like that. We had sine of x tangent of x. So we need, we know we have to get to somewhere like sine squared over cosine with this, right? Okay, how are we going to get there? Well, first things first, we got to change cotangent into what? Cosine of x over sine of x. Cosecant into 1 over sine of x minus 1 over sine of x over cosine of x over sine of x equals negative sine of x tangent of x. Okay. Looks like we've got a bunch of Complex fractions. How do I get rid of a complex fraction? Multiply by the denominator or the denominator. Boom, 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 boom. All of a sudden I have cosine of x over 1 minus 1 over cosine of x equals negative sine of x tangent of x. Okay, so common denominator, cosine of x. So I get cosine squared of x minus 1 over cosine of x equals negative sine of x tangent of x. Name co or cosine squared of x minus 1. That's negative sine squared. If it's 1 minus cosine squared, it's positive sine squared. And you're going, well, why is that? Well... Sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So if we subtract 1 from each side to get cosine squared minus 1, we also have to subtract sine squared of x from each side 
could get cosine squared of x minus 1 equals negative sine squared of x. Okay? So we got negative sine squared of x over cosine of x. which is negative sine of x times sine of x over cosine of x, which is negative sine of x tangent of x equals negative sine of x tangent of x. And there we are. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. So what problems do you have to do today? Well, here's what you have to do today. You have these problems to do 49 51 53 54 55 49 51 53 54 55 page 172 okay and then in a half hour we'll go through these and get three more problems and then we'll be done with this section for now.